Welcome everyone. Um, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a toy rotation. I have, I, I basically want to just kind of go through how I rotate my kids' toys, how often, and just show you guys what I'm doing today. Today is currently a Tuesday and I told my son I would give them out new toys on Sunday and I just didn't get a chance to it. So today's the day. <clears throat> I aim to do a toy rotation every two weeks. And so I don't, I'm not like on the dot with it. I kind of just every so often, every two to three weeks, I switch other toys. The reason I do a toy rotation is just because in that closet, it's filled with toys and different activities. And if I did not do toy rotations, this playroom would be a hot mess. There would be toys everywhere all day long and I wouldn't want to clean it. <sighs> That's one reason to um, reduce the amount of toys everywhere for my sake and for my kids. I feel like when there's too many options to play with, it's very overstimulating. And so I kind of just remove that by having them have anywhere between six to 10 different toys or activities going on in the playroom. Um, two, this helps with cleanup. At the end of each night, I come in here, I pick it up and it takes literally like two minutes. Um, it's just helped me keep the playroom very clean and easy for them to just want to come in and be around every single day. Three, um, oh, three, they don't get tired of their toys. They don't, they're not seeing all the same toys every single day. Yes, for like two to three weeks, they have the same toys, but they are able to play with them in different ways. And then when they get new toys, it's like they forgot about all the other toys that they had. So this just gives them an opportunity to play with new toys and although I'm not purchasing new toys every single week or month but they just get to be creative with their minds and what they already have <clears throat> so that is pretty much it as far as this intro um if you are interested to see how I rotate my kids toys feel free to keep on watching um thank you guys so much for being here give it a thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you aren't already and let's get into it So typically, I would go around the whole house and collect all toys from the bedrooms, um, the kids' rooms, my room, the living room, the kitchen, everywhere. But just for the sake of time, and since Jedediah is currently occupied watching a movie with his dad, I just don't want to bring the attention of toys to him. So what I usually do when I, this happens is I'll put up everything that I have, but I am aware that there might be some things that I have to find or that I will find throughout the house from this current rotation. So while I find things, I just go ahead and I have a little basket where I usually just place those items until and they'll just stay in this little random basket of toys that I found throughout the house. And they will be placed with the correct like where they're supposed to go during the next rotation. So this is their closet. And it's not the most organized, but this has been what works for us for the space that we have. Typically, this is the basket that just has random things in it, but most likely I'm going to just go ahead and place this one. So all the things that I find throughout the week will go in here. Um, this current last rotation, these were the only things that I found that needed to be placed. So while I'm taking... So as I put everything away, I will make sure to put these away as well. And that's pretty much it. So this is what the kids playroom currently looks like. I kind of already got started, but um, I just wanted to go ahead and just film this video from here. Uh, all these toys are what they've been playing with for the past, I would say two and a half weeks. So what I do is I bring everything to the center of the room and I actually do this every single night. Regardless if it's a toy rotation day or if it's just a night pickup, I bring all the toys to one area and then I just kind of organize and clean it up based on where things are going. In this case, I'm organizing everything, but I'm not placing it back on the shelf. I am preparing it for it to go into the closet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
All right, so this is what I have. I have some toys I need to take to the kitchen to get washed. These bigger toys, everything is just going to be placed where it goes. Just to give you guys kind of my thought process behind how I choose which toys to have out for my kids. In case you don't know, I have a two-year-old, <clears throat> I have a two-year-old and a nine-month-old. And I typically will give one basket designated just for Ela's toys. And um, although she is able to play with whatever toy she wants, I have this, this basket out just so there's toys that are more suitable for her specific needs at this age like teethers or little rattles or just kind of like a little like baby or toys but once again she's able to play with whatever she wants to play with um i usually try to have a some sort of like puzzle or sorting toy or um just like fine motor skills i i will switch it up sometimes we'll do instruments sometimes we'll do coloring um sometimes he'll just have his action figures his car so it's a variety of things and i typically fill up these six cubbies and then i will leave out a couple big items so this week their items were their little rockers so uh, the little rockers that they have um and then i usually also rotate out their books so just to prevent this video from being too long i just wanted to give you guys kind of some background as to why i do it how i do it and what i'm doing so i will go ahead and quickly do this and i will show you guys the final result all right, here is the final cubby look set up. Here we have a little puzzle um, where he has to match the shapes. We have this little strategy to buckling and unbuckling, sorting of animals. We have some balancing. Um, this one's more so for Ayla. And she just has to put the ball inside. And then I have Ayla's basket. Another reason I give Ava a basket is just because typically when Jedediah was her age he had this entire cubby to himself with um, six different toys for, just for him and since they're sharing and she doesn't really get that full setup I give her a basket with anywhere from like five to seven different things inside that she could play with and I switch that up for her so although she doesn't she still has access to everything um, that's like her way of still getting access to her age-appropriate little activities and toys so just thought I'd add that in all right something else I also do typically like maybe every other month or so is I just switch up the layout of everything so this has kind of been here for a while so I'm thinking of maybe recentering it um, right here or possibly against the other wall I just do that so that the feel of the playroom just is always changing and it's always unpredictable and they come in to just like a whole new setup and I love that for them. So once again, let me finish. I'm almost done. The toys are done. I'm just putting away a few more things and I need to do their books and then I will show you the final result. Hey. 